Okay. We just got back from St. Patrick's reflecting on today's gospel as we begin this CC week. Um, what did it stir up for you? Today's gospel reading um, brought up a lot of questions and ideas around stewardship. And for me, one of the most important distinctions was that the gospel offered an invitation to think about what it means to be children of the light as opposed to children of the world um, and how we kind of wrestle with these ideas of stewardship. So you might say that being kind of children of the world is really about maximizing one's sense of safety, security, and financial return today in mm. this present, in this generation, and not necessarily embracing the kind of long view of care for certainly humanity today and the more than human world, but also long-term kind of across generations. And so how do we unpack that? How do we think about what true faithful stewardship is in light of that long-term view? Um, what's, what did it stir up for you? Just the steward and what he did with his position and this priest kind of reflected on how do we even see the good and even maybe criminal activity or people that are not as um, of the faith. And it made me think of private equity, actually. We're often so critical of private equity because there's so much bad and so much harm done <clears> for <throat> buying companies and leverage buyouts. But um, Apis and Heritage, one of these, using a private equity model to help build wealth for the poor, for black families in America, it and so many of the alternative direct investments are private investments. And so, so often we criticize private because it's not accountable to a public, but in the public, the structure of capital supremacy reduces. So just the mm -hmm. complexity of mm -hmm. the gospel today mm -hmm. gave me some more nuance to reflect on some yeah. different asset class pieces. And I think what we're called to go to the margins and go to the, the new things, um, it's part of what it stirred up for me. Yeah, it really helps me think about how quick we are to label certain asset classes as being one type of investment mm. or another, and, or whether it's responsible or not. So you, for example, might look at the Vatican's recent new impact investment policy, which discourages speculative investing and calls out private equity as an asset class. And while on one hand that's important, right? We don't wanna engage in unnecessarily speculative behavior for, for financial gain, but we might recognize the ways that these different financial structures are being leveraged or used by community groups or those who have a real clear purpose and mission about them. So how, for example, might we be partnering with those private funds that are built by and led by and structured by communities and for the benefit of communities? And so it always, to me, it always comes back to this question of who's involved, mm -hmm. who's participating and who benefits. Mm -hmm. And when we take this kind of broader view of benefit, it opens us up to think, I think, more imaginatively, more creatively about how we're directing our resources. Thanks so much, Elizabeth. Yeah. Excited to go to the co-op gathering here in Bologna tomorrow. Yeah. We'll yes. see. See you.